right, what's up, guys? I give a quick run through of my snow plow. Uh, it's made from a Fisher brand snow plow converted to be used on the skid steer. Uh, so I'll go through that and we'll take a look at that. Started with a eight foot Fisher plow. The Fisher plows, I like them because they have the, the trip edge versus the whole blade tripping and flipping forward. Definitely a little bit heavier duty. So it's an eight foot. It's probably from a Minute Mount 1 Fisher plow. So what, what we did a number of years ago, first you can pick these up, these quick attach plates, just a blank plate uh, for your general skid steer attachment. Uh, Titan Attachments, I believe I got that from. Usually free shipping, quarter inch thickness, three eighths, or I think half, or maybe five eighths they might have. This was right in the middle. I think this was three eighths. For this application, it was good enough. Again, this is a snow plow, not a bulldozer type blade. So once I had the plate, <clears throat> we welded on uh, this big piece of four inch by four inch channel. Got the ears welded on there on both sides. Now, most guys that I've seen do this, they'll keep the same type of chain for the top, which I wanted to be able to put some down pressure on, on the blade. So that's why I went solid mount on the top versus the chain. You could do it either way, though. In regards to the hydraulics, so this right here, I added, I made another plow, did the same thing. I'll show you that one too. So this is a crossover valve or a cushion valve. If I hit something, now in the machine, there's a relief valve. If you hit something hard enough, there's gonna be a relief valve, but it's probably set to 3000 PSI. Chances are you're gonna, if I hit in the corner, something really hard, chances are it's not going to damage the hydraulics because the machine has a relief valve at probably 3,000 PSI, but it's probably going to bend the blade. This valve allows uh, the, the, the hydraulic flow to cross over to the other cylinder, and I can lower the PSI so I can, if I hit something, it just diverts fluid to the other side to the other cylinder. So if I hit something really hard on this side, it'll just allow the blade to, to tilt a lot easier without damaging the blade. I believe that valve, that crossover valve, is ranges from about 1500 to 3000 PSI. You can adjust it. I have it set where I, I, you can adjust it and then you can drive up to a, like a tree or a stump or a solid object and drive the machine real slow and you'll actually see the blade start to give way. And that's how I adjust it. Just a nice little feature to have on them. Seven and a half footer. Kind of similar setup with the, the L channel. That's probably three and a half inch L channel. Um, but again, with a crossover valve. Got flat face couplers on there. And then ended up put we ended up putting this this C channel just to give a little more rigidity to the to the quick attach plate. Just your standard skid steer quick attach plate. And that was probably off a Fisher, that was probably a Minute Mount 1 type Fisher blade also. Both probably from the 90s era. Alright, what I'll do I'll do now, I'll I'll show, I'll get up to an object and I'll show, I'll demonstrate the crossover valve, how when you push on an object. 
it's going to give way. So you can see the trip edge tripping. I want to show that first. So if you're hit, you hit a curb, hit something on the ground, that the edge just trips. Alright, now I want to show you if you hit something in the corner. Watch.